All right, today we're going to talk about something that's really never done off-grid, and that is running a 240-volt AC dryer on your off-grid system. Uh, that's something that we really never want to do, but in the case of Dwayne and I, we have women that prefer the more fluffy towels to dry off with, and when you hang dry those towels, uh, they dry a little bit stiffer and a little bit rougher, and personally I like it because it just seems more thirsty and it just really pulls the moisture off of your body so um, in in the case here where a woman wants it softer we guys needing to keep our women happy have come up with a plan that we're going to do with Dwayne's dryer to reduce its power requirements so that they can run it. Right now his inverter only supplies 4000 watts continuous and his dryer is 5400 watts requirement and whenever it kicks on the heating element it just pulls everything down because he's normally running either his um, his water distiller or other items in his house that pull more power and it just can't push all that. So we're going to look today at how we can reduce the power requirements of this dryer so that it'll still work. And I hope that you'll stick around with us and check it out. What we did is, um, uh, once again, when we sold our house, the people wanted the washing machine and dryer. So, um, so when we got up here, we bought, we bought, we bought all our appliances, and uh, that was before we decided to go solar. Um, once we found out how much electricity was with this co-op, we uh, we decided to go solar. But uh, now we got the the house and everything ready to uh, start using the dryer, and I realized that it drew 5,400 watts, and my system's only set up for 4,000. So. Um, we had the idea of uh, converting the uh, dryer element down to uh, to 120, so from the uh, 240. So um, talked it over with Steve, and he said, "Yeah, we'll do that." Okay. Now that we know that the dryer is rated at 5,400 watts, and the heating element is probably a 4,800 watt element, 5,000 watt element, something like that. But I've got this uh, calculator brought up on the computer here, and we're going to have a look at it to see how the changing the voltage of a resistive element has an impact on the uh, current or the wattage demand that it uses. So in this case, we know that the element is rated at 240 volts, and we'll say that it pulls 5400 watts because that's what's rated on the uh, the dryer label itself. So we click calculate here and we see that it pulls 22 and a half amps and the resistance of that coil is a little over 10 and a half ohms. So by taking the same formula we'll say this time that we're just going to feed a different voltage into it and we'll say 120 volts and the resistance being the same because that'll never change now that's going to have an impact on the amperage and the watts that this thing pulls. Now you would normally think that if you have a 54, well let's say for the sake of simplicity, a 5000 watt element and you put half the voltage into it, you would automatically think that it's going to pull 2500 watts, which is half of the wattage that it pulls at twice the voltage. That's not true. So you'll see here whenever we click the calculate button, current is 11 and a half or 11 and a quarter amps which is half the current but the power is only 1350 watts so that really brings the power down quite a bit by just taking that element and instead of feeding the full 240 volts to it we tie the neutral to one of the sides of this uh, heating element we reduce the power requirements to 1,350 watts. The system can easily handle that. Now, the flip side of that is, yes, you can't put this huge load of clothes on and expect it to be dry in an hour. It could take two, three hours to dry a load of clothes. 
But going back to meeting the requirements of the wife, where she just wants a fluffy towel, we can dry these towels mostly hung up, and then when they're they're, they're mostly dry but still have a little bit of dampness to them. We can throw them in the dryer. It heats them up enough so that they fluff up real well and it'll make them happy. Okay, this is a brand new Samsung all-electric dryer. Steamer dryer. Yeah, steamer dryer. There's the water inlet for the steam, the dryer exhaust. I got front here, but I have it over me yet. Steve, you want to come up from the pool with some water? Uh, no, I'm good. Get the sides off, it appears. This only looks like about six bolts to lift this whole cover off. We're going to have to strip her naked. Yep. We got a knockout here. <laughs> Well, you know, with that knockout there, that, that means that there's got to be a way to get to all that because some people do need that I turned that, around. Yeah, I think it's an alternate for the uh, vent. Right. Uh, so yeah. That's a cool way right there. Cool styling. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is we disconnected the relay that goes to the heating elements and that relay I'm not sure if that will focus on that or not just for a second thirty four is I don't think it did that before oh, okay yeah it does okay cool do you know how to yeah, 23. That's a low dry level, so let's uh, where to start at. Right there, over um, on the. Oh, uh, era. D E. So the brain functions. Bye. <laughs> I had a buddy of mine, uh, Vince, and uh, he got up and took. He got up in his attic and took his uh, air conditioner apart mm -hmm. and uh, there were a bunch of plates on that thing misters yeah that draw I don't know probably not even Almost five nothing, minutes. Yeah. So um, I think I'm going to put together a humidifier with one of those. Well, there's the blower. Here's the box, the heating element box right here. Alright, so do you see any wires going to it? Yeah. So those are the wires that go to the heating element. And we got the voltmeter. We're going to see what we've got going from one side to the other. Okay, I'm just going to have to uh, wire that two together. So how do you like your uh, flush mount ceiling lights? <laughs> Draws. Yeah, I want to. I want to take a reading on what you're drawing right now, and uh -huh. then start the dryer. Okay, we'll relay it. Chris, you stand at the front door if you would. Okay, so right now, Dwayne is drawing 1.1 kilowatts. Okay, 
So now he's going to turn the dryer on. Okay, here we go. And now we're 2600 watts. So it's pulling about probably 1600 watts. 1200 watts, something like that. I forgot what it was pulling before. Blowing out hot air. Um, we got her fixed, man. I'm happy as a dead pig in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that is pretty warm air. I wouldn't say that it's hot, hot, but it's definitely warm. Not being cool now. Uh, delicate and uh, a low setting, the 20, 20 something setting. So, wow, we get to keep the matching set. Wonderful. Great, Steve. I couldn't have done that without you. <laughs> hey, um, that was fun. That was educational. That'll help a lot of people too that, that if, if they've been in a situation like this where they've already got appliances and, uh, you know, they're going solar. Mm -hmm.